We are live. Hello, everybody. Switching over to live chat. Finishing my last bite of my cookie. <laughs> Turning my volume down. Well, hello, Nancy. Working? Yep, we got chat. So quiet. Concentrating. <laughs> hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, Sandy. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Maureen. Oh yeah, that cut perfectly. Good. Hi, Gloria. So you didn't have to ignore the little things. <clears throat> I, I share one little one little spot, which I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> Pretend it's not there. Correct. That is how we are gonna play this game. <laughs> this is a brand new mat, and it's already like not sticky. Like, come on. Yeah. Be there in a second. Yeah, that's why I don't buy brand new mats. I just tape things. Keep redoing it. I'm telling you, the SGX, they at least improved the mats. I was able to get a lot more use out of the mats. I mean, I think I use my mats. I use my machine way more than I use my old machine. And so the mats, they did really, really good. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, let's see here. What is she cutting? Well, you're just going to have to wait and see, Jerry. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Wow. My, <laughs> look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at my platform ready. Oh, wow, it is warped. It always does that. Always. Wow. It just does it. I mean, you can't avoid it. It's just going to, it's, it's going to do it. It just goes with. Because it's only meant for Gemini foil, not for any other foil, unfortunately. They did the, they cornered the market on that, just like, you know, everything else. What's that? Using their low heat foil. Yeah, because I have it on ah, medium. Wow, that thing's hot. Did you see it? Are you Nancy? okay? Uh -huh. Nancy, can you see it? Hold on. <laughs> Jean is like, looks like mine. Um, did I get my scan and cut? Gloria, you mean the one that um, UPS lost when I sold to James and UPS lost it? Yeah, I got my refund. I got I got a settlement for my claim. You did? Yeah, but it was only a hundred dollars. Well, that's because that sucks. it is something. I it's in the mail. I saw. I went. I looked at the claim yesterday. I was talking to Chow, and she's like, "Well, did you get anything?" And I'm like, "I don't know. Let me go look." And I saw that it was. I submitted for four hundred and fifty dollars. How much did they send you? A hundred. But that's because of what I what I paid for 
for the shipping label. If I would have increased the oh, value. Got ya. So just know that people just and know it that. it still could possibly show up. Doubtful. Somebody's enjoying a scan and cut. So, um, fine, Jerry. I see how you are. She said she was going to stop by and then said, You chores. She has another duplicate of something for me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She's okay. like, Do you have this? And I'm like, Oh, no. where's my phone? Right in front of me. <laughs> so funny. Nancy, did you see? Here, look. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I got one that looks like that. <laughs> I have a brand new one, though. I just haven't, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's going to do that no matter what. As long as you know how to work around it. Yvonne says, Nancy, Nancy this is like deja vu. Why? Why? Oh, because I, I was know. on earlier? Oh. Um... I want to try artistic mats for scan and cut, but I'm too cheap to pay the shipping. Vivian, I am me. I don't know what that is. I'm curious. There's something else for scan and cut? Another yeah, I never one? heard of that. Never I'd heard be of worried it. about the way they scan because, you know, brother has that weird funky coding. Well, it's, pri yeah, it's proprietary. You can't use other mats in the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I learned that the hard way. Let's see. Jerry said, I hate basically that the scan and cut mat doesn't keep it sticky. And she had to put some mint tape on, mint tape on yep. her the other day to cut more gnomes. Hi, yep. Sierra from Vancouver. Hello. Uh, Lint roller. Hi, hi, Sierra. So JM Betton. Yeah. Lint roller and... Um, uh, baby wipes on the scan and cut mat the cm3 cm models it's just the mat sucks just sucks the sticky goes by with like what two uses and then it's, it's like done pixie spray is the best thing we found that yep. works yep washi tape um, do the new mats work in the old scan and cut no cm mats do not work in the dx version sdx versions um true 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 Okay, so Gloria, though, how long was that? Like between the time that she got ordered the shelving, it got lost, and then she got it because that happens with Amazon on occasion. Um, but yep. this is April, it got shipped. <laughs> it's been missing since April. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, Jerry, the DX, the SDX mats can only go in one direction. South Australia, she's in the future. Hi, Tracy Winders, Winders. I'm gonna say Winders. Um, oh, Vivian says, yeah, third-party mats that's supposed to have better adhesive. Anything is better adhesive than the CM. Well, mats. send the info better. to Stacy. She'll buy them and be our guinea pig. Um, it's a place in the US though. Perfect, we're in the US. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> send me the info, please. Yes. Um, oh, I case. just found a fault in my own technique. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You dingbat. Well, um, I, I learn it so nobody else makes it. There we go. Oh, my gosh. This is hot. Hot. I know. Mine's hot, too. Okay. Are we going to explain what we're doing? First of all, I do want to say that. Scan and cut, scan and cut. Scrapbook.com actually has a sale right now on a lot of Pink Crush Studio stuff. So check it out. And, and links down below. Two, <laughs> did you put all three of our links? So whoever your favorite is. <laughs> I just searched hot foil and put the hot foil link. Okay, well then go to our admin page and pick the favorite, you know, the person that you like the most and use their scrapbook.com link. <laughs> well, like I said, links down below. <laughs> Jerry has mine bookmarked on her computer, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> this cute Hershey Park shirt she has on. Oh, so, um, okay. She's muted. Well, tell me because she is nice and comfortable inside there. Oh. Oh, the baby. Yeah, I was muted because yeah. my machine was beeping loudly. I didn't want you to hear that. Okay, so what we're doing, what we're playing with today is Pink Fresh Studios has this collection um, Vivian Kim wants to send me a message. I will accept. I'll get it later. Um, 
so there's, oh, my thing's coming undone. So this all started with me with, do you remember who sent me this, Nancy? I don't remember who sent me this. I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I do not remember who sent me the stencils, but they started me down the rabbit hole then because this is a four part, four piece stencil set. And so basically it'll do this and it's called Folk Garden. So it's funny. I got the flowers of all things, but I'm more of the butterfly person. These other two got butterflies, two different types. And then there was another one too that Tracy got the thinking of you. I think it's called thinking of you. Yeah. All right. So Tracy and I bought ours. We ordered them off of scrapbook.com. Well, I got this one for free. And then I right. went and I ordered these because what it comes with, what it, the, the grouping of the options is you now have a uh, die cut. So this will cut out, this is the background stamp. So you can background stamp it and then you can die cut that and do like almost like a clips card where you have stuff popping off the card. Mm -hmm. And then also there is a hot foil die. I think I got all pieces. I don't know if there's a piece that I was missing, um, but that's about it. So you've got a hot foil die, you have a die cut, you have a background stamp. Some of them have clear stamps. I know the butterfly ones have clear stamps, not background stamps. Mm -hmm. And then there is sometimes also then pencil. It's a full bundle that you can use. Um, you can't use all of them all together. Like you can't, no. you can't. Well, I guess you could, but it may not work out if you try to yeah. stencil, then stamp, then foil, and then die cut, it would just be a hot mess. Right. So you, you think pick and choose, wouldn't be right. ideal. pick and choose the pieces that you want to use. And they're from Pink Fresh Studios. Um, when we went to the show, my craft room, uh, her name is Joyce. She also carries them. So if you are going to the stamp shows, and you look for my craft room. Um, she was doing a demonstration of them for hot foiling as well. Um, so you can go check, check them out there. And then, like we said, scrapbook.com has them. But we will warn you, they sell out very quickly. So what we are going to be playing with tonight and mostly focusing on tonight is the hot foiling part because we each purchased different hot foils. So Tracy has the multiple small butterflies. I have the large butterflies. And cut that uh, out with your scan and cut. Yep. I That's cut them out with my cutting. scan and cut. I did not get the die because the die was sold out. Thank you. This one is called. I have a big one too. <laughs> it's just called butterflies. And there is a coordinating. It says coordinating stamp die stencil set all sold separately. Yep. And then Trace Stacy has the floral ones. And Tracy also has another floral one. So Stacy Tracy has so it's called three small of them. Bu this is called small butterflies. Small and butterflies. Mine's folk, folk, uh, folk garden. And there is one more. There's my, two more. There's the Bougainvillea one, and then there's another one I can't remember. But so there's like a few my different flower sides. one is called Thankful for Friends. Okay. But so I don't we, have anything but the foil on that one, the hot foil plate on that one. And so the only thing that Nancy's been playing with and Tracy's been playing with has been the hot foil, cutting it out with her scan and cut. And that's mm -hmm. pretty much it. I'm going to do, I'm going to hot foil this down and then I'm going to color it with my stencils. Um... And then I'm not I'm using my of, scan and cut. I'm just going to foil. That's yeah. it. Neither yes. am I. So um, we want to of, show you how these work with different machines. I'm using my Spellbinders Glimmer. They're both using the Gemini foil press. The Gemini foil press must be used inside a Gemini machine, preferably a Gemini Junior. I have a million videos on that. What I have found, the basic differences, since now I'm on the Spellbinders um, glimmer kind of video team is that most hot foils work at a higher temperature so spellbinders glimmer hot foil um blue bonnet hot foil uh who else do we got uh, most of those foiling companies work at a high higher heat so you have to put your machine on medium or high heat which is what tracy and stacy will be using probably 20 to 30 seconds and 
when you use those foils in the Gemini machine, the higher heat causes the plates to warp. So if you don't buy, as you can see there, if you're not going to use Gemini foil, now Gemini foil works at a much lower heat setting. So you can get away with 15 or 20 seconds on low heat. Um, go press and foil works at the higher heat. Yep. So you can mix and match your foils based on which machine you're going to use. Stacy's going to demonstrate her little foil cutting thing there. I've never used it before. There's no demonstration. This okay. Is <laughs> well, you, you should demonstrate it. So I'm going to be using the Spellbinders Glimmer, which automatically has a high heat setting. If you use the Couture Creations Go Press and Foil machine, it automatically works at a high heat setting. So you don't have any timers or heat settings that you can set on the Spellbinders like you can the Gemini Foil Press. So when we go hands down, you guys can go ahead and ask questions based on the machines that you have, and we'll try to answer them for you. This is completely different from toner, laminator, mink foiling. This is a completely separate system. You have to buy different hot foil dies or hot foil stamps, they call them. You have to buy a different foiling system and you have to buy different foils. So if you are into toner, laminator, mink foiling, you cannot use any of the things that you have with this kind of foiling. It is two different trees of the foiling family. I feel like we're taking it up the next level. Like dang. we kind of are. We kind of are. Know, the yeah. reason we want to do this is if you guys are into making nicer wedding cards, birthday cards, or da -da -da -da, Christmas is coming up. Spellbinders also just launched a whole bunch of holiday Christmas dies, hot foil dies, um, that you guys might like to get. And so this is how they're gonna work. So hands down it is yes t i have one of these two for fabric bigger one for fabric um but let's see how it works all right flippity flip flip oh. a shadow uh candace if you're going to invest it would be based on what die cutting system you have. So if you have a manual die cutting system, you can go with the Spellbinders Glimmer or the Go Press and Foil. If you have the Gemini Junior or the Gemini system, you have to go with the Foil Press. You cannot mix and match die cutting systems and foiling systems. One will not work in the other. Yep. Oh, and also Hello, there will Abraham. not- Hi, Cheryl. Hi, T. There won't be any Dusty Dusty either. Oh yeah, no dusty, dusty. Oh, I totally messed this up. So let me show everybody my screw up so they don't make it. Oh, well, first of all, you're not, why am I, I want to totally, hold on a second. Let me get my stuff. There we go. That was weird. Okay, so there's my hot foil plate on my Spellbinders Glimmer. Some of you asked me how I tape my plates on top of here. Cause I had a lot of problems with this machine when I first got it. Cause with the Gemini, they, the, there's a little, um, a notch, a little edge that the Gemini plate top plate sits on top and it doesn't move. Well, with the Spellbinders machine, man, my thing was jumping up and down over, over the place. So I made a homemade seatbelt for it by taking some Cricut tape. This is Cricut heat safe tape. And I taped my two plates to each other. So there's a thinner shim and a cutting plate. These all come with the machine. So I taped those together and then I taped them to the side of my platform here. So you'll see as I do this, I have a little hinge, but now my foiling doesn't move. And then you always want to keep your platform plugged in with the plates on top while you're warming it up or it takes forever to warm up. And you want to wait for the light to turn from red to green. And then once it's ready, it, you'll turn the timer on, which is basically 60 seconds. Their system is a little different. I have my first panel done. Oh, look at that. Oh, you use the gilded. Pretty? Yes, that's beautiful. Yeah, I, I used the gilded. Um, I'll show you guys the. Uh, you know, I wonder how that was. Big like paper I pad. I used this big paper pad and I used um, a monochromatic matching color. This is Go Press and Foil. The color is red orange foil. So I think that looks great. 
So let me show you guys really quick how this works. I have this piece of foil that I already cut down. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to cut it into like strips for sentiments. Let's just say hypothetically. So there is a foil, there's a foil cutter and it comes with two, it comes with two foil and two paper cutters. And then there's a little thing it keeps in and here's the paper. And actually, I think I lied. I think it only comes with one, but you can buy the replacement thing. So I have two of each because you know me, I like to be prepared. And so I'm just going to go, it's cut very smoothly. And so I could do this with sent, um, paper sentiment strips as well. Oops, that was not, that did not cut through. I'm trying to get it into the little slit. There it goes. I think I missed this one. Not sure if I'm cutting it. We'll find out in a second. But this cuts really nice. It keeps your foil in place. And then I have perfect little strips for doing those, like those sentiments that Nancy had, those 27 little tiny strips. This would work perfect for that if you wanted to do individual ones. Ooh. Very cool. Okay, moving it's on. So Always remember that the foil needs to be colored side down, okay? So because this foil has an adhesive built into it, we want the ugly side of the foil touching the paper. I believe I need to shim this. Do I need to shim this? I forget. I guess I'll find out if I need to shim mine because I have no idea. I think I need to shim this. I'm going to put cut this scrap paper down and shim it. Um so my foil plate has already been warming up. It's pretty hot. And so I have my foil plate, my foil, this is foil, hot foil from Blue Bonnet RGV. You can purchase from her on Facebook. She gets pretty nice foil and it comes in nice long rolls. We don't have any kind of links or anything. You just go find her on Facebook. Then I'm using hammer mill paper and then I'm just gonna put an extra piece of shim in here, cover my lid and then I'm gonna hit this timer button and it's gonna blink for about 60 seconds. I'm gonna remove the whole platform and roll it through my die cutting machine which is the Spellbinders Platinum machine. So I'm gonna set that aside for it to blink. And earlier I did one and I used black foil and I ran it through my scan and cut and I did an offset and you can see that it cut out beautifully. But then I thought, oh, I'll be smart and I will cut a whole bunch out. Well, I cut a whole bunch out. The problem is you can't see the through the foil for alignment. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. So because you can't see through the foil for alignment, it did not line up perfectly. So my butterflies are kind of wonky. So I'll have to practice that. Mary says, so happy I caught this video. I bought some of these and I haven't used them yet. And you guys don't be shy. Please ask us any questions you have because we want to help walk you through this process. I mean, we help you guys spend your money and buy these things. We don't ever want you to regret your purchases. Ooh, Stacy's going to do a peel and reveal. Wow. So pretty. That's freaking perfect. You didn't need a shim. And what kind of foil did you use? I use, I'm pretty sure it is, I'm pretty sure it's Glimmer. Um, I could be wrong though. I'm not sure. I just grabbed it. What timing and heat setting did you use on yours? Medium 30 seconds. Okay, medium 30 seconds. And then this is going to look beautiful on Another, another paper. Card. Yeah, another paper. That turned out really good, though. It doesn't even look, it looked like maybe I'm trying to see if this is an underfoil, overfoil. What is this? Not sure. It's pretty good, though. I'm going to do another one while I have that out. So, so Cindy, great thanks, question. Jane. Cindy asked, where's the best place to get the machine? So right now, unfortunately, there is a chip shortage um, so a lot of electronics, including your home printers, your TVs, your washers, dryers, and a whole bunch of cars are not able to get manufactured right now because they're waiting on this computer chip. So I think the Glimmer machine might be affected by that, or maybe just because everybody's in the hot foiling right now. I don't know. But um, the machine seems to be sold out everywhere. We've linked scrapbook.com. We've linked... Um, 
Spellbinders, your best bet for if you're in the United States is to check your local Hobby Lobby. They have the Glimmer Machine for $74.99 if you can find it at Hobby Lobby. Uh, for the Gemini Foil Quest Machine, your best bet is to order it directly from Crafter's Companion. Uh, all we can say is just search around, but make sure you're purchasing from a reputable company. And the reason I say that is everybody goes, well, Walmart has it. Well, Walmart doesn't have it. Okay. Walmart outsources their website, just like Amazon does. And you may not be purchasing it from a reputable company. So always check the reviews, the stars, the ratings before you purchase something. And of course, Facebook marketplace is another place to check out. Uh, yeah, the waste foil, hey, I recommend to... just putting on a piece of toner sheet and foiling the waste foil, and then you can die cut it out. Go, so go ahead, Tracy. Couture Creations. Oh, super cute. Pretty. Now, Tracy doesn't have the die for that one, right? No, but I could run it through my scan and cut. If She's going to run it through her scan and cut. Yep. She's not today, not but tonight, another time. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But she could definitely easily run that through her scan and cut. Okay, yeah, and when I ran mine through that. the scan and cut, and I did an offset, it came out perfect. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I don't even need to buy the die. I probably won't you know, buy the for, die. Yeah, for you guys, no, you don't. Need to buy. Okay, let me try some foil quill for the foil. I'm trying to get this. Oh, yes. Foil, foil, foil will work because it is a yeah. hot foil. Foil. Yep. Good mm -hmm. reminder. Uh, Couture Creations. Go press and sure. foil. Yep. I'm pretty sure the Couture Creations was what I used the okay. first time. Because I had a lot of that. That was like the first foils that I bought, you know, from SMS because she had a huge sale. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, All right. Wash the tape. That's nice. Right. Okay. I'm using glimmer foil, by the way. I'm using like this chocolate colored. What is this? Bronze. Is it bronze? Mm -hmm. it? Yep, it is bronze. All right. Let me see. Oof. Yes, Ty Theory, you can use foil quill foil. We found out foil quill foil is hot foil. And also, maybe you didn't know this, but the Cricut foil is also hot foil. Oh, a big one. oh hey, hi, Pam. There's limitations on the little cutter. <laughs> of course. With his big rolls. I think I want like four and a quarter. Yeah, so I have a lot of overfoiling, and I think it's because I shimmed it and I didn't need the shim. So still pretty, but I'm going to go and do this again. Yeah, I can feel it's all pressed in. Did not need the shim. And I'm using 100-pound hammer mill, you guys. The best thing about hot foiling is you can literally hot foil anything you can fit into the machine because it's already got adhesive built into it. It will stick to any cardstock. So those of you that want to use specialty cardstock and you're concerned that the foil won't work or laser printing won't work to use in the mink machine, you can hot foil cork, leather, fabric. All of those things can be hot foiled. So I'm going to try that again. Let me grab a different color foil. If you haven't tried out Blue Bonnet's foils, let me show you the difference. Here is a roll of your traditional hot foil. So this can be Glimmer foil, Gemini foil, Couture Creations foil. This is the size of the roll, okay? Here is the size of the roll from Blue Bonnet. Can you see? <laughs> you got like four more inches of foil on there. So definitely check her out. She ships from Texas. It's Blue Bonnet Foil RGB, I believe. And she just has amazing foils, lots of cool colors and designs that I have not seen in traditional companies. 
Again, we don't have any affiliate or anything. She just has amazing foils. I love her customer service. So I always try to help her out. There's a nice pretty purple. It's like a satin finish. Yes, I'm going to do the satin finish tea. Yep. Does the machine emboss the image? It does slightly. Yes, Gloria. So you get a slight texture from the embossing because it's pressing the dye into the paper. So it's like letterpress. Yes, exactly like letterpress. So I'll bring mine over so you guys can see it. Perfect. So again, my plates are hot. Ooh. Foil, pretty side touching the dye, ugly side up. This side has glue. What do we use if we foil our dyes, ladies? Nothing. No, just kidding. Acetone. <laughs> acetone. <laughs> acetone. So pure acetone will take the foil off your dyes and also, also off of your plates, just like if we get toner or foil on our uh, mink folders. All right. So I'm going to try this again without the shim and we'll see if it comes out a little better. That looks good, I Stacey. Here's mine. A little over foiling here. Ooh, that just a little great. bit. I, can, I love that paper. I can just I can just rub that off with a mono sand eraser or I mean, you want to show them even. that look are your nails purple to match the paper? Oh it is. Yes <laughs> they are. All right. I'm going to I mean, use I, that. I might like the color purple or something. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know what theme I got going on here. You're playing with watercolor paper. Oh, gee, I wonder, Nancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One week, you guys. One week. Where is? Yeah, somebody? I'm not worried about that little spot. I mean, it's no big deal to me. Uh, sentiment. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Looks good. Watercolor. I'm gonna try the watercolor paper and see yeah mary you can um hot foil on anything so you can do vellum you can do acetate as long as it's heat safe acetate it doesn't have to be a particular brand you can get heat safe heat safe acetate off of amazon so yeah and for those of you guys that are new to foiling and new to hot foiling i have like eight million videos in each category so <laughs> you can go check those out in the playlist Stacey, Crazy. I had to shim mine the other day when I did that. It was the Hobby Lobby watercolor paper. I had to shim it. Why would you have to shim it though? It's it's um heavier paper I than don't know. Using. That's every weird. machine is different. Some machines are looser than others, some are tighter. Uh, yeah. Lori's asking Tracy if she got the butterfly stencils. I did, yeah. Candace, the paper pad they... is from Michaels. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't think they necessarily go together. I think they're standalone products. I don't think you would use the stencils with, but hey, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I think, I think uh, there's you are. four different it's stencils. Like mine. Yeah, it's a layering stencil like mine. So it's it goes with it and it colors your butterflies, if I recall. So mine okay. is perfectly foiled without the shim. So on mine, I don't need the shim. Look at Another how pretty that purple foil is. This is working perfectly. Now, this oh. is why, guys, I switched over to the Gemini foil press. <laughs> because if I was still using the Go Press, the Couture Creations Go Press and Foil, this would not be coming out as perfect as it is. I had so many issues with that machine. Yeah, that machine, you really have to kind of understand the inner workings of it and knowing what kind of foil, what kind of shim really makes a difference. Um, the GoPress and foil machine um, was one of the first hot foiling machines. Uh, the Spellbinders machine is very similar to it. The Gemini machine gives you different heat settings and different um, timers on it, which is really cool. But it all depends on what kind of die cutting system you have. Yes, but there was a lot of tweaking too that went into it. It was. Oh. So I'm going to use some blue bonnet foil for the first time on my hot foil machine. Woo -woo! Finally. You're going to love it. 
I would like to, but I don't have any. Use, it's in the package. Then use this your pretty sparkly quiet, woman. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm gonna try some watercolor paper with that same design. With um, Chow is being awfully quiet. I wonder if she's having a baby. Stop. Chow, you being you get, there, Chow? We didn't get a nine one one text. She's fine. Oh yeah, good point. <clears throat> Okay. All right. So I, guess me, I like to bring this in and show you guys again because I always forget. So my machine is hot, 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 hot. Pretty side touches the die. Then hammer mill paper. And again, I'm using a hundred pound. Close my little makeshift lid, hit the button and wait till it's done blinking. Hi, Margaret. Margaret! Now, for those of you that are in Europe, I don't know if Anne Marie's on, but those of you that are in Europe, there is a Facebook group called um, Foil Press, Foiling with the Go Press and Foil, Foil Press, and all kinds of things. There is a woman there named Di, and she sells foils in the UK, I believe. So um, you would most likely get the European or Australian version of the machines. Um, and she sells hot foils in Canada and UK and all those places. Uh, but you would probably get be easier to find the go press and foil machine than these machines. These machines, they do come in European plugs and so on, but they're a little harder to find just so you know. Well, they're hard to find for everybody right now. Ooh, and, I think this, oh, I lied, I did, oh no, I did gold, I thought I did silver, never mind. Pam said, oh. did anyone see my comment about how I did the big butterflies? I didn't see the comment, Pam. Look. That's pretty. Ooh. A little bit of overfoiling, but it's okay. It, it really is okay. Um, I'm, I'm fine with it because I'm just going to use that just as is. That's a great background right there. Very elegant. Yeah, Jerry, I totally agree with you on the sense of perfect placement. And this is really difficult because you can't see what you're doing. It's like totally Correct. opposite. Yes. It's crazy. Um, there are some tricks that you can use that we've we learned from Yana Smokula from... Yes. Um, skull binders. binders. Yep. And so there's like some hinge method that you can work with that works um, pretty good. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it yeah, can be I was doing that trouble. earlier. I was doing the hinge method. Okay. While I'm, I'm doing it, the wing it method now. <laughs> That's the Nancy. Before I get my yeah. stencil and inks out. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple. Um, I'm going to shut off my foil press because I'm done with that. And then I'm going to do a couple stamped images so that I can. Um, so Tracy and I are using the similar um, embeds. This is kind of green, almost like emerald facets. And Tracy's using the fuchsia. And these are both from Blue Bonnet Foil. Hi, Debbie. Pretty. Very. Ooh, I'll trade you, Tracy. <laughs> that looks great. Wait, this guy's upside down. Why, why is that? Yeah, well, you cut down? him out. They're supposed to be cut out. <laughs> well, I wanted to make a card out of this. Like, well, you I, that's to, why I use you my have pretty to scan paper. and cut them. Yeah, why wouldn't they do them well, that I'm, so they're together? That's crazy. Hey, I didn't that's design so, it. I'm just telling you guys. That's now, funny. I thought he do, was facing the other way. I know, me what too. I didn't even notice. Let me grab my paper like that. <sighs> now that is no good. <laughs> I'm not what using are you that. talking about? <laughs> so cute. Oh, that's no good. The way they designed that stupid die. I know. I thought it was the other way. That? 
You can cut oh, it out. I was going to make a big card out of this, but I got a butterfly upside down. Well, I butterflies don't always out of this. fly right side up. Stamp a flower under him. Is that the way that they were in, um, ensuring that you uh, got the dyes? Got you the dyes? Out? Yeah, that's great <laughs> marketing. Exactly. It was probably wow. the cheapest way for them to get the dyes on one plate is my guess. How am I sideways? Maybe. Who said I'm sideways? I'm not sideways. Chow just said I'm sideways. Who's sideways? I'm not sideways. sideways. I was earlier. Maybe she was I think checking Chow, from earlier. Chow might be laying down in bed sideways. Yeah. I was going to say, Chow, you laying in bed? <laughs> what is the name of my plate? I would blame her if she was. The hot foil plate is called Folk Garden. The whole set that I got was Folk Garden, if that's what you're asking. This is a beautiful red rubber stamp. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's just gorgeous by itself. This would be pretty just, you know, inked up and ooh, embossed. Ooh, give me my wood grain and it's some embossing powder. <laughs> I'm not going to line this back up. Hmm. Let's see if I can do it this way. Oh, Chow said that was earlier. I just got the message, Chow. <laughs> I have the, I love these foil plates on, they have them on, Star has them on her wish list, she said. Um, there might be a sale going on at scrapbook.com. I saw some stuff that was pink fresh um, for sale. So, all right. So some of you guys. But if, I do, if I do you, like that blue bonnet foil. That's nice. It is very nice foil. Let's say you only want to foil one of these. Let's say we're like Tracy and we want to make a card just with that sideways butterfly we don't want to foil the whole thing all you would do I is just joke. cut a I just cut a small enough piece of foil to cover just the die that just that part and then put your card over it so gotcha. i'm not putting foil on the bigger butterfly or mm, vice versa it. so we'll i mean i'm with tracy works. though i totally thought i never as many times as you showed me that um your your stuff cut out I never noticed that one of them was upside down <laughs> I always thought they were like a duo it's crazy yeah it's, it's uh what sticky mat are you using on your stamp platform Stacy um that would be from Chow I think it's from a silhouette mat she cut up or something uh, she'll have um, let me it's see a if cutting I find it. it's like a it's a cutting mat yeah. Um, so Chow gave it to me. I don't know. She'll have to say what it is in, in the chat. I think the name's at the bottom. It's on Amazon. Um, it's just a standard grip on this piece. Let me see if okay. I've got it. I don't know I where don't my have mine in front of me either. Yeah, Chow can answer it. Um, she says it's an off-brand silhouette mat that I cut up and sent to her. That's exactly what it is. <clears throat> all right i'll get my big card one way or the other here we go <laughs> i'm making one of those european cards six by six five and a half by five and a half Ooh, that's a big one so does yeah. Stacy. what do we have gray off to the side what are you talking her, about the way her camera is hi stacy graves DC Grace says it's her first oh. one of our lives. Yeah, I don't what know. What are we why talking about? The okay. Our our view has got like a I'm mobile. on my iPad and you guys yes. are on phones. Yes, I think that's what we determined. Sorry. Well, and okay. I'm on an iPhone, so it's even wonkier. So <laughs> So now I have only half a butterfly on purple paper in the right direction in purple foil. Pretty. And now let's say, okay, what do I want to make a card? What do I want this to say? Well, I think happy birthday sounds good. Oh, who doesn't have one of these yet? Spellbinders has them on sale. Look what I got. I would like to thank our VIP for sending this to me. And Ditto. Tracy and Chow, <laughs> you each have one on the way. What? Have what? 
you have this happy birthday glimmer of the month kit from Spellbinders on the way. Yay! Okay. If you guys Thank don't you, have it, I think it's still available. Click the link down below and you can order it. It is the sweet and snarky birthday wishes glimmer of the month for June. It has the happy birthday, the die that cuts it out. Let me read you guys these sentiments. It's totally worth it. It doesn't come with the roll of foil, but you just get the hot foil and the cutting dies. And remember, hot foil dies don't cut. They just emboss in the foil into the paper. And then this is an outline die. This will cut it out. Uh, but let me read to you the sentiments. From afar, you look 21. I'm glad you were born. <laughs> Sorry to hear you are old. I remembered. Wishing you an amazing day. And I'm still younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the link down below if you guys click to glimmer of the month kit and then go to past kits you will find the June 2021 glimmer of the month kit and you can get the hot foil dies without the foil and thank you VIP for sending it to me you made my day <laughs> all right so I uh, that's really pretty Tracy that's really cool oh thank you so I'm going to start doing my stencil and I just wanted to show you guys what I kind of set out. So there's four different stencils and I'll show you on the back. So here's stamp die stencil example, but this is the coloring that, well, here's the stencil too. So here's the coloring. So I'm going to use um, the four colors that I have from the beach retreat. Catherine Puller Beach Retreat release. I don't have the other four colors just yet. Those are on the way. Thank you, Nancy. They are um, on their way. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and use sea glass for the first layer, which is going to be all the greenery. And then the bay breeze will be the darker. That'll give the highlights. And then I'll do tranquil for the, the flowers. And then cove blue, the darker, will be the highlights of the flowers. That's my goal. So we'll see how this all comes out. I'll so get gonna... my stencils out too and try to do the same, but different colors, obviously, because I have purple butterflies. Would not look good with Beach Retreat. <sighs> There's some blue. I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to, I think, use some repositionable um, on the back of my thing to hold down my paper on my glass mat. So we've got sea glass, which is, let's see what color this is. So this paper pack is from Michael's. It's called Gilded Ink. I believe the regular price on it is $20. It's pretty thick, it's 12 by 12 paper. And what I did was I cut it down into card front sizes and sent it to Stacy and Chow. And then for Tracy, when I went to visit her last week, I just took her a whole pad. But you got to go to Michael's and it's called Gilded Ink. And from what I've seen, they don't have it on the website. You have to go into your store and purchase it. Um, but it's really pretty watercolor paper and it has some foiling on some of the pages and you get two of each design. So there's 24 designs and it's really pretty. Not every single page has foiling, but we've had a lot of fun with this. If you can't get to a Michaels, Hobby Lobby has a similar watercolor paper, but it doesn't have any of the uh, foiling in it, um, but it's still just as pretty. This is also another version of it. It's pre-made cards. And so it comes in four different colors, the purple, the pink, the teal, and like the orangish pinks. Um, I wasn't able to find the paper pack, but I did pick up some of these. Uh, T says they have the six by six online. Somebody just sneeze, bless you. No. Oh. Um, Casey, are those what... envelopes? What? They're, they're yes. hard. Are those cards hard envelopes, and envelopes you just showed? There's envelopes. Oh, in those there, are pretty, just... Stacy. That's perfect they're size. They're plain. Yeah, it's a five, it's a it's an A four size card. Um, but it's a the envelopes are plain, but the cards are, you know gilded on both front and Perfect back size yes Ready to so go. i wanted to point out the stencils have a little cut in the corner like a little um you know etch. corner cuts etch thank you 
And it also says stencil number one and then two, three, and four. So you kind of know the order. Um, so you can line up your stencils really easily with the little corners. And as you can see, oh, it lines right, up. Stacey, Perfect. they do go together. So I think what I'm going to use. I doubted you, girl. I was thinking they were standalone stencils. They, they no, seem to line up okay. Yep. I'm going to put some. This is some tape that been taped in. Um, Chow got for us. Uh, very inexpensive. Mine like, aren't lining uh, up. Washi Mine tape. aren't lining up exactly. I'm, I'm going to have to do half and half, it looks like, because... If I do them all at one time, there's some that are not lined up correctly. Are you sure? Sure you don't have an I'm upside positive. down? If I, if, if I stencil that, it's going to go off of the butterfly. And I don't want that. Girls, girls. I want it to stay with, I want it to stay within the circle of the butterfly's wings. That's okay. I can adjust it. I don't no, mind. No, it doesn't go that, in. Doesn't it just go outside the butterfly? Doesn't it outline the outside? I, I don't have think so, Nancy. It it's supposed to thing. it's supposed to color the inside <laughs> of the butterfly. Oh. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll find out. Won't we? <laughs> Unless my paper is sideways crooked, something, I don't know. I'm not I gonna chance it though. I don't want I vote it lines up. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to do maybe it. Maybe it like, depends oh, crap, on this. It. Maybe it depends on the stamp and die and stencil set. Maybe. Could be. I'm sorry, I cannot be the tiebreaker. I do not know. I don't plan on buying the stencils or the stamp sets. <laughs> well, well, maybe it's maybe it is lined up now. Okay. I vote. For okay, I just did a little that. adjusting. <laughs> Put I know some it tape on be, it, but Tracy. it's just. It just wasn't like it wasn't at first, but now I ain't got it. I think I'm taping it. Don't worry. I'm not that. See, brave. guys, this is the way I like to color. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't have to do anything but just run a blending brush over the stencil. This is great. I love it. Yeah, Gloria, it's in Michael's where all the papers is, but it's where, where all the decorative papers are. And for the two Michaels I went to, it was on the top, top shelf. <laughs> okay, we'll see if this works. I'm just, oh, I guess, it, yeah, they act, they act as a mask. Yes, layer they do. Upon layer. so you're, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> that way they're not going to, like, um... This is so pretty, Good. guys. Look at this. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. I'm loving this already. Super pretty. I mean, this is like you're pretty awesome. just by itself. I just, because it's got the foil and everything on it. I, okay, next. Well, I'm excited now, Stacy. Wait till you see my butterfly. Oh, I can't wait. They're going to be butterfly. rainbow colored. I know. And if I really wanted to, I could mass produce right now because I can literally just cut or tape these down to my glass mat. And then as I'm finished with one, pick it up and just move the stencil and keep on using it. Just saying. But next. Right. Okay. Thank so next. <laughs> All right. So this is the next one. And so stencil number two, get some tape on here. Sorry, nose is runny. We got so much rain today. My neighbor had to like um, overflow. They had to re release water from their pool. The pool was overflowing. Whoa, so. Really? Yep. <laughs> she sent me a text. She's like, I'm really sorry about the water in your yard. I mean, not like I could tell because it was pouring out and like everything's flooded. And so I'm like, I wouldn't even known had you not said anything. Didn't know there was pool water coming out the front yard too, but I don't care. It's not like it hurts anything. He said, hey. I'll go with you, Gloria. I'm just shy of six feet. What? Who said that? T. Making me jealous. I'm taking T with me to a bar fight. <laughs> I just want to take her with me to the grocery store so I can reach the top shelf. <laughs> 
Oh, you're funny. Okay, so I'm setting this one down and it's got to kind of go with the corners because you don't really know. This is a highlight, so it's not really going to be, you know, like, like this one, the first one, it went and, you know, like lined up with perfectly with every, all the leaves and stuff. This one, a little different. Okay. So we're going to go. Gloria is four foot 10. I think so is Tracy. Wow. <laughs> I'm definitely shrinking Nancy, but oh. I think I'm at five foot. So it was Pam PJB Stamper who sent me these, um, uh, stencils. Thank you. Thank you Pam. Oh, yes. Pam did. I saw these. And, I mean, I, I, yeah, I saw the sets and I was like, oh, that looks like way too much, like too complicated. But when she sent me the stencils, I'm like, okay, well, I've already got one part of it. So why not? I'm really glad. I, I'm glad you sent them to me. Thank you. Well, if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> Pam little... says she's five, six and a half in her family. That's considered short. Wow. I'll take those couple of wow. inches. I'm five, ten and a half. You can't help us. You're in Arizona. Tracy and I are short girl oh, club. No. Sorry. And I'm the baby of the family and I'm the second tallest in my family. My brother, who's the next closest. Oh, my is um the tallest he's like six one and then my other two brothers are shorter than me they're like five eight five nine my dad's probably five eight five nine and my mom is like five four wow <laughs> yeah i'm loving this look at this oh isn't that pretty pam oh said God. she swapped for gnomes oh. win-win that looks cool it looks great i'm loving this um, um she's gonna Stacey, be doing all night Chow and nancy guess what what my mom got her ancestry dna results back guess and what and she's 41 percent scottish she's scotch you're my scotch cousin wow 41 percent. that's a lot you guys that is a lot i, I thought know why my grandma more, had red there, hair I my grandma had red hair english in there because you guys had a lot of english and german no. looking traits no huh it said it said 41% Scottish and then 36% Northern England. I said English. Which Northern yeah. England goes to Scotland. Yeah. Okay. Um, we were really surprised. We thought that she would have had German. Like German didn't even show up. Sweden did. I'm still well, the only that one that has 1% sense. Congo. <laughs> what? That doesn't make sense. No, remember she's got I have 1% Congo. Congo. I'm the only one in my entire family of everybody that's had ancestry DNA, which would mean that my fourth great grandparents should have been African American. We cannot figure out who it is. We're going through well, all the they could genealogy. Have been South African. No, it said Congo, Nancy, in oh, my DNA. Okay. It said Congo. <laughs> that is so I don't funny. know. It's a mystery. We're trying to figure it out. Seriously, you guys. I mean. I'm totally serious. We are like asking all the relatives to get their DNA test so we can figure out like am I the only <laughs> one that has that, you know. Just... Who's the one that cheated? <laughs> well, I found out I'm well, 4% Japanese, you guys. So Leah's Chinese, that's Korean, exciting. and Japanese. <laughs> that's cool. Ooh, this is like a periwinkle color. Ooh, this is the tranquil. Oh, grandma's trying to call. Sorry, grandma. To call her back later. Yeah, Scotch, Irish, German. Guys, this looks gorgeous. Korean and Japanese is what came up for me. It was cool. That is cool. How's it coming along, Tracy? Really nice. I just want to grab um serenades for my final layer it's yeah beautiful. on my final it's layer this it is looks like stained gone. glass butterflies oh i can't wait to see it um this is coming i've got one layer left and i'm loving this guys i'm absolutely loving it hey leah leah somebody ran down here leah leah jade don't act like you're not down here i heard you come down the steps i know i look your grandma just tried to call me. Can you call her back and tell her I'm filming, please? 
he probably wanted to make sure you got the money for Disney. So like I said, I, I think this would look really good uh, or it would be really easy to do um, assembly line. Definitely do like four panels and just keep moving the stencil onto each one and then go to the next and go to the next. <gasps> Ta-da! You know, another way you could probably do that to make it a little easier, Stacy, for lining up is to put it in your Misty or your Tim Holtz uh, platform. Actually, it's really easy to line up um, okay, good. because you just line it up on the foil. I mean, it just, the, fir- it, it, the second one was probably the most difficult because it's the highlights, but, and it's not like, you know, a whole leaf or anything, but the rest of them, it was like a whole, um, design piece that you were lining it up with. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Beautiful. Cool. I love it. I'm almost and done. This- I have one more, one more stencil layer guys then I can show you mine and I don't even have to really wipe anything off I mean it's my foil is shining through really nice it's not like toner foil that kind of gets dulled with um you know when you ink over it it looks gorgeous I just wonder if what it would look like when I got these different color paper I'm really glad I got them too I just hope that I don't get addicted and want to get like other <laughs> like Nancy needs oh, oh boy Nancy, look at you <gasps> pretty that's that is double so pretty. foiling two different colors so the happy birthday is nice and bright and then I put the butterfly just that center butterfly in that satin purple so it's kind of in the background Pretty. Hmm. What can I do with this? Very nice. All right. I'm going to do one of these stamped images. Let me do this one really quick. I'm going to do two at a time. So and says this. scotch. I'm pouring a glass right now. <laughs> I heard him. That's funny. That's hilarious. All right. So we've got that one. And then where's the other one? The gold. Yeah, we'll do the gold. Okay. But seriously, there's a lot of redheads in my family um, on my mom's side. Like my uncles and my grandma had red hair. So yeah, yeah, that's all Scottish. My dad was a ginger. And Xavier had. I know. I saw pictures of him. Yeah. Yeah. Xavier has some of it. Xavier's hair is brown on top, but when you flip underneath, it's red underneath. That's crazy. Well, you think it would be the other way around, like the sun hitting his hair would turn it red, but no, it's red underneath and brown on top. So weird. Okay, have a look. And my internet seems to want to crack out. So here's wow. Now, imagine if you had the die, or if you threw that through your scan and cut. She's going to throw it through her scan and cut. You can cut them all out, and then yeah. you have little individual butterflies to throw on. They're oh, really hard. pretty. And, and what's nice about it is, so this one, like the outer wings are pink. This one, the outer wings are purple. They're very, there's a variety. So you're not getting the same. So not all of them have out wings purple they're all different just the way they designed it okay pink fresh uh you have a vote of a five out of five for me on this product ditto i'm i'm totally in love with this yeah now they don't that. have a vote of five out of five because you were complaining that the butterflies upside down so four out of five well, okay, you're right. I know, Vivian, and that's what I said. I wasn't even going to use the stencils. I'm like, I'll just do the stencils another day. Yeah, I'm so glad I used them. They are so pretty. I'm glad you did, too. That's um, the foil that I used was this Glimmer foil, a uh, fuchsia flower on just white Himoko paper. That's it. Nice. You don't have to use Hamilco. You can save your Hamilco for your toner printing. This works beautifully on hammer mill paper too. Yeah, I used. Oh, that's what I meant. Hammer mill. Sorry. Uh, I yeah, meant I hammer mill. Sorry. I Either one will work fine. 
I didn't use a glossy paper mostly because I was going to do ink blending and I wasn't thinking, um, but it would have a different look for sure. But yeah, I'm using basically Himilco. I need a fairy. Was, I'm using the Catherine to make a hot foil fairy. paper, Fresh. which I think we determined. We need a hot foil fairy for Nancy. We need a hot foil yes, what? We do. Fairy. Oh, and hot foil we need one fairy. that we can have a stencil to color its wings all different colors. Yes. Well, I'll put clear foil on its wings. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so this is stencil number two, and this is the one that I was saying is like the most difficult to line up, but it's not terribly difficult. Um, just make sure you don't have any white showing and it should be good to go. So one of these- And when you have, have over foiling with um, hot foil or even toner foil, get yourself one of these mono sand erasers and all you do is just take your time and rub over that area where there is overfoiling. Overfoiling is when you have extra foil where you don't want it. And it will come right off. You just want to be gentle that you don't scratch up the foil part that you do want. But you can see I have a lot of overfoiling on this butterfly here. And that's because I shim this. So see all this extra? That's overfoiling. And all I'm going to do is just take my eraser and rub over that. And it will all come out of the way there. Just be careful if you use the um, milk paper, the glossy paper, because it will remove yes. the gloss. Yes. That's why I like my mm -hmm. hammer mill. It's cheap and it works for most everything. Hammer mill is my new go-to for everything, you guys. I it haven't does bought work any really well. accent opaque. I haven't purchased any Nina. Nope. None of that. And I'm kind of, you know, I have to buy Stampin' Up. In case you guys didn't know, I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator. Um, so there is a discount code for our hostess code for July, but wait, if you can wait until August, celebration starts August 3rd, which means for every $50 you spend, you're going to get a free item from the celebration catalog. Um, so if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. So now it's all gone. Pretty. These I'm going to run through my scanning cut machine and cut them out. So I have beautiful green, satin, purple, orange, and I'm going to do ink blending. Now I don't have the stencil. So since I already know I'm going to run this through my um, scanning cut, I'm just going to ink them up. I'm going to run these through one of these through a die cut just to see what that looks like, too. <clears throat> I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it to different blue. Um, So we're going to do one with pink flowers. So we'll do, it's a girl in party dress. <clears throat> so Hi, Shirley. It's a girl. Any tips for foiling on dark blue navy cardstock I've been having? Okay. Are you talking about hot foiling or toner foiling, Kythera? Because we are only doing hot foiling today. So hot foiling, you can do any color of hot foil on anything really. Just make, basically making sure you have enough pressure and enough heat. Hey, Sheila. That's my girl right there. Sheila and I had a great time in Pittsburgh. 
So the foil fully resists the inking. Yeah, you don't have to wipe the, um, you don't have to really, you can, if you want to wipe it, you don't really have to. I use black foil on this and it's fine. Hot foil with the glimmer. Okay, Kaisir, I would say if you're having a problem on those darker card socks, it's probably because you need to either turn up the heat or shim it. Usually darker card socks are more porous, so they're thicker and that's how they get that card. Uh, it's not as smooth and shiny and glossy. So I would turn up the heat or let it go a little hotter or put a shim in it. Yep. Jerry says she is eyeing the Joyful Peony set. I am thinking about... That was the other one, yeah. The one that um, Tracy got. That one's nice, that flower. The Hamilco paper and oh. the Hammer Mill paper are both on my Amazon page, Yvonne. And the Bougainvillea is another one, too, that I remember. <clears throat> so the peony, peonies, is that what she just said? <clears throat> joyful peonies yeah i think that was it and then yeah the one that the flower that um Pam says she that. has joyful peonies so i want to see you guys get your hot foiling out start practicing you know we don't just do this for your entertainment we want you guys to not be afraid get the machines out of the boxes out of the closet let's start using them Let's practice making beautiful things and let's show everybody in the group, hey, we're not afraid to do a little hot foiling. This could easily be a Christmas thing too because I could do like mm -hmm. red and green more. This one over here, I'm loving with the yellows. This is so pretty. Looks golden with some gold. Now on this one, I had That's some pretty Nancy. Foiling. Yeah, I had underfoiling at the top, but it doesn't bother me. It still looks cute. That's really pretty, Nancy. And if you want to, you can go back in with your um, your towel and wipe any excess ink that could be on the foiling off. Now, this is black foiling. If you were doing a lighter foil, you might want to do that. But again, totally personal preference. I'm totally getting the stencils for the big butterflies. <laughs> okay. Because that is mine. just so pretty. It is very pretty. Um, so this is the one with the, um, I used Tiara and Catching Rays and then Bay Breeze and Sea Glass for the leaves and stuff. Very pretty. I love the yellow. And then this one I use Bay Breeze and Sea Glass and then Party Dress and it's a girl. So I did some pink. And this is also stamped in black um, Midnight, Catherine Pooler Midnight Ink. It's not, so you can tell the difference, obviously. I love the pop of the foil on this one, but this one's pretty too. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run one of these through. I think I'm gonna run this one through. Um, and this is like a periwinkle. I'm gonna run this one through the die. So I've used, this will be the first right. piece then. I've used the stencils, I've used the hot plate, I've used the stamp, and now I gotta find my die. <laughs> I don't know. You go to the die, I'm going to scan and cut this one. So I've foiled okay. it, I've inked it, I'm gonna go scan and cut it. Yeah, I'm sure if I, I, I don't know what this would look like if I scan and cut, cut it. <laughs> Might be a hot mess, but. Okay, like seriously, where's my die? Um, for sentiments, uh, we have, no, I don't think any of us got the sentiments. We wanted to make sure we like them. But for sentiments, I have a ton of sentiments from Spellbinders. So those sentiment, sentiments will work with anything. Yeah, like seriously, I can't find my die. It's buried. Okay, it's not going to be. She's pulling a Tracy. I'm pulling a Tracy. What did I yeah. do with it? I can't. Oh, found it. It took it out of the package already. Silly me. Oh, good Lord. Er, trying to get it picked up now. So beautiful. Stacy from Jerry. So classy looking from T. 
Okay, yeah, you want to make sure that if you go on my Amazon shop, I have the links for Hamilco and Hammer Mill. Um, it depends on what weight you're getting. I think the Hammer Mill, like I said, uh, you can use for foiling, you can use for ink blending, you can use for alcohol ink coloring, die cutting, you can use that for cards. Oh, she's in Canada. So that could be right because she's in Canada. Hamilco, I am a little stingy with my Hamilco. I only use it for toner foiling. That's it. Hot foiling is much more forgiving with um, and, and versatile with using, um, like you can use glossy paper, you can use mirror you can use cardstock, anything. You can foil. Yeah, you can use anything. So I'm, I'm in agreement with Nancy where I'm the same way with my Hamilco. I'm very picky with it and I use it mostly just for hot, uh, for toner foiling. Okay, so this is gonna leave a little bit of an offset. So that's interesting. <laughs> Well, on this one, I make an offset because of the antennae. Otherwise, the butterfly doesn't have antennae. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Let me just get... So, I'm wondering oof, if I can mix and match now that I did this because oh my gosh this is so cool holy crap oh you guys wait until you see this she's into it oh my gosh this is so neat I've just like had a whole bunch of ideas now holy crap or holy hell as I like to say <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> okay, so look at this. This is so intricate. Holy crap. Oh, that looks great. It cuts out look all at the inside pieces. Yes, it cut out cool. inside pieces. Yeah, it's awesome, and it's a nice big piece. So what I could do That's is a pretty flower. On. You can literally do this. Like I could pop this up. Oh, hold on a second. Is there something? Nope, that's just glossy. Like I could, you know, cut this out using craft foam, and then pop it up and mix and match my colors on my flowers. Ellen, you on here be. tonight? Mel, look what my scan and cut did. I don't need to buy the dies because Melanie is my senior. <laughs> look at this, you guys. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the hot mess, and now it's no longer a hot mess. Ta -da! That's pretty. That's gorgeous. Very All right, nice. hold on. Let me go. Ooh, I just had a thought. I don't know if this is going to work. And it might my be too much. So hot foil, scan and cut first, scan and cut second. Don't do it the other way around like Nancy did because you'll never figure out how to line it up. Yeah, definitely I mean, do you hot probably foil first. Could, but... Okay, I've got hot some foil first, scan and cut second. That answers the question too for people that ask, will my scan and cut read the foil? Most of the time, yes. Just depends on the color of the foil. Look. So for... For you guys who have a bunch of photo glossy photo paper that you're never going to use because you know you never print photos anymore, um, I found a bunch of backgrounds. I get backgrounds all the time, like digital papers on the internet off of like digital. Um, Creative Fabrica has it, and there's a whole bunch of different. Marlene, she used a scan and cut to get that cut. Um, so anyway, I printed a bunch like they had a whole galaxy pack and I printed out eight half by 11 uh photo paper and then cut it all down so I'm playing with some stuff that I like this is a cloud stencil um 3d embossing folder excuse me so I could easily come in here and you know do some flowers do some small flowers I really like this one 
This is pretty. This would be really pretty with for a card. And there's a bunch of pieces. I mean, I have all of these other pieces over here. And then look at that little one. This is a little one and I so cute. And then I still have a bunch of little pieces in here. Like all of these are cut. Oh, not those little ones. Okay, I lied. Okay, there's one here. That one's cut. There's a bunch that are cut. I love this. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Pam, for sending me down this rabbit hole. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of spellbinders sentiments. Um, I was going to say two. I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, I love that cloud embossing folder. Jerry, stop it. <laughs> it's all to new, by the way. Anyway, um, and scrapbook.com. Uh, let's see. Jerry or Marlene, if yours doesn't cut when you ink blend, don't ink blend. Cut it first and then ink blend it. I'm using black and white yeah. setting. Um, and you need to make sure your edges are completely solid. Otherwise, it won't read it. But if you're doing too dark of a color for ink blending, do the cutting first and then ink blend afterwards. Okay. Risa mm -hmm. says, so pretty, Stacy. Thank you. I am really excited. Hey, Nancy, about I'm going to have to get going. All right. Stacy, right. I'm going to have to go. Thank you, Thank you Tracy. All Bye, right, Trace. you guys. Have a good evening. See you later. You Bye. See ya. Even something like that. All right. I think I need to put some cards together really quick. Pam says she's so happy that she enabled you. She influenced you. <laughs> influenced you. Happy people maker. Yes, exactly. I totally, like I said, was eyeballing these. And then I saw like all the different pieces and I was like, oh, heck, I need to step away. <laughs> But then when she got me that one piece, I was just like, <gasps> and then Tracy and I bought ours without telling anybody we bought that. And then, yeah. bam. Oh, oh I know what I was going to say. I was going to say that this also counts as, um, use what you got. Yeah. Because we haven't, we had these sitting aside and we hadn't used them yet. So it was like, I was like, we need to do a pink fresh studios. Yeah. All right. Let me. Let's throw a card together. Sorry, my sniffles. He I says love all these. she will take a card with the gold foil on white and leave the flowers white. Thanks. Oh, you want the green? You want the green? Andy, down the if you flowers. want to go shopping, I put the links down below, but Tracy and Stacy also have scrapbook.com links. So you can use their links for whatever you're going to buy. Use the links for whoever showed it. That way we share the love. So T, I'll make you a deal. You make me a dragon card like you did for um, Tracy. And Who I'll got a dragon? Titles. Tracy got a dragon. I'm a dragon. Leah's a dragon. Yeah, well, T made her a dragon card. You didn't see that card? She showed it on her live. Nope. Yeah. Ooh, the big butterfly spoiled on acetate. Hmm. That's a, that's a thought. I can that would that. look cool. This would look cool, just the outline, um, the foiled. I could do that. The problem is adhering it then. See, like you could do something like this where you have just this all foiled, but then I do a pop of color. Here, I have an idea. Let me turn my machine back on. I have something that Tracy Fair will love. Hold on. Although she's I'm not just gonna, gonna get into hot foiling, she'll still love it. She's gonna want this. Hold on. Let me. Let me the third card. Thing? I don't know if it was the third card. I thought you made one for Nancy, and then you made one for Tracy, and she got a freaking dragon. And I was like, "Where's my card?" And Chow wants one too. Doesn't have to be a dragon, but we feel a little left out that you made, you know, Nancy and Tracy a <laughs> card, and you didn't make us one. <laughs> Don't listen to them. <laughs> that 
dragon one she did was really cool. I think it was like fairy stamper dragon. You got the dragon, didn't you? Or was it Tracy that just recently got the dragon? How do I know what? Hmm. All right, I gotta try and figure this out. Let me see here. Oh, I should show you guys the cards that I did with um, the local King Rubber stamps. They turned out so darn cute. Oh, I just filed them away though. Never mind. Maybe I'll post pictures in the group. Bowls. You made Chow a card. That okay? Now I'm really. I, I'm. Hmm. <laughs> Deep breath. Look at I'm that. Okay. Melanie, you're the bestest. <laughs> I don't need no stinking die. No. For that one, you definitely don't. If you had a scan and cut, or even if you want a fussy cut, Tracy had to go. She's got some design teamwork that she's got to get done. She's going to have a late night. She puts yeah, a lot a very... of work in for you guys. She does. Very stamper. Um, oh, T, it was the one that you did like backwards or something. <laughs> the, the dragon card. Oh, she has a special card for me. Hmm. Likely story. You're just saying that now. Probably working. Make on it sure as well. it has those special words that start with an F on it. Oh, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> Speaking of that, so keep in mind. Um, the new. Hold on a second. So, Stacy, which brand did you use? Pink Fresh stencils. So this is Pink Fresh Studio, and I have the Folk Garden set. Um, oh, so I was going to say next month, Falling Snobs Club card swap is anything goes. Snarky so, time. What? Snarky time. Yes. Snarky is always actually, I open that up every month, actually. If anybody wants to do snarky any, any, any month, totally fine with it. Um, but if you've got cards that you just kind of have too many of, like you have too many thank you cards, too many sympathy cards, too many whatever, if you want to get rid of some cards next month, August, yeah. Christmas cards. cards. Anybody wants to yeah. send me Christmas cards? Yeah. I mean, we will be doing Christmas in November, I believe. But again, anything goes this next month, start making them now so that you don't get behind. And... Alta New layering stencils. No, this is all pink for studios. The only thing I had was Alta New was I used, this is an Alta New cloud stencil. That's what I was mentioning earlier. Um, yeah, Teresa, scan and cut is awesome. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and glue this down. I am foiling onto clear acetate. Ooh. Would you recommend using a toner or hot press foil system to start? Toner. Totally. Toner. Laminator. It seems that hot foil plates would get expensive and more variety using toner in the mink machine. Yes. Now yes. Stacy Graves had asked that question. Yes. Toner for sure. It's a lot more forgiving. It's a lot easier to learn. Um, you don't even just... have to buy a laser printer at first. You can buy so many companies have pre-printed designs. We yes. Just up, we just picked these up at the stamp show. So even if you don't buy a laser printer, but you can get a laser printer for around a hundred dollars now. They're super cheap. So yeah, definitely start with the foil art, the toner foil art. And then as you, you learn what your, you know, like what your style is, then you can definitely um, add venture your, out. Yeah. Yes. And get your toner printer and a laser printer and then do your own stuff and then you know go online and get like free SVG files and stuff like that uh, let's see 
Yes, Jean, Lauren, anything goes. If you want to send me a card, feel free, because I know you're going to be snarky as heck. <laughs> I like your cards. Oh, I'm sorry, Bernie. But hot foil press is like the next level. It looks very elegant. It looks expensive, I want to say, if you want to put it mm -hmm. that way. Yes. It definitely looks like store-bought. I mean, it's very nice. It's letter press because it, it's embossed it embosses um, because it presses the foil into the paper so you had an idea um so hot foil is definitely the next step if you well if you happen to buy a bunch of hot foil and you don't realize it you're going to probably get into the hot foiling like i did but or you <laughs> that's can send it all to nancy <laughs> but otherwise toner foiling is very easy to pick up especially if you have a mink already all right tracy fear this is dedicated to you all right hot foiled on acetate Ooh, pretty i oh, needed to shim that because this acetate's very thin but that's okay because we're going mixed media here. Now I'm going to flip this over to the back. The back is silver. And I'm going to throw some alcohol ink on top of it. I was just wondering if you're going to do that. So I think I'm just going to do something simple like this. And then I have a die that I was using. Hi, hmm. Wilma. How are you? Hey, Jean, how are you? I could definitely do a hot, um, a, a hot foil, like sentiment, but I don't want to heat up my machine and deal with that. So I'm going to just do a thinking of you die. And I think I want to do it in gold. I'm going to regret not wearing gloves. I'm going to do, oh my God, no Nancy. <laughs> alcohol ink's the one thing that, you know, acetone isn't going to affect your nails, but um, alcohol ink will. <laughs> I'm taking a scrap piece of acetate and just kind of mushing those colors up. As Gina would, Kay would say, the smacking acetate method. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Not and alcohol inks take a minute to dry, especially since this is on acetate. So you have a second to play with it. If you don't like where something's at, you can just add more um, alcohol ink or mo add another layer of, um, you could spray it down with isopropyl alcohol. I'm just the other thing too, I want to colors pinks. The other thing too, I want to say is that with hot foil, we make it look easy <laughs> because we've been doing it for a long time, and we've gotten machines that we know how they work. We, yeah, Nancy did yeah. not like the spellbinders machine. It was gonna go in the garbage. Yeah, Stacy did not like the go press and foil machine, and it did kind of go in the garbage. <laughs> And I, but I didn't want to get, I had already had the, um, vagabond. And at the time when I was watching Nancy, she was all about the foil press. And I was like, I don't want to get a Gemini junior because I have a, but the Gemini junior is amazing for, um, intricate dyes. Intricate. I have cover plates. My second obsession is from embossing folders is probably cover plates. Then I have some that are very intricate and my vagabond just didn't cut it. And I finally broke down. I actually have two Gemini juniors right now because <laughs> I bought a second one when they were on sale at um, uh, Hobby Lobby. Mine got so anyway, away somebody who never uses it. Yeah. So <laughs> I... 
switched over to the Gemini Junior. When I did that, I got the foil press and I love it. I, like I told Nancy and other people, I used to, I just hated getting out the go press and foil because it was just so not consistent. Like I didn't know if I was going to have good results and, or I would have to go through so many different, you know, passes to, and so many different tries to get it to work. Right. And when I got the foil press, it was like magic. The first time was like, holy crap, this worked the way it should. It was just amazing, yep. but that's just me. It could be totally different. Like Nancy loves the glimmer now. Um, you know, so it's I love just- it because it doesn't warp. It really, I mean, when I'm using these high heat foils, it does not warp. And I hated yeah, that but it, it was goes, doing that. It goes back to normal. Mine's not warped right now. It's cooled off and it's now it's not warped. I mean, yeah. it just depends too, if you have a dead spot, because I think you had a dead spot in yes, your plate. I had a, I had a big so, old dip. In yeah. It. Yep. So mine, I don't have a dip. I, it warps. As soon as I heat the thing up, it definitely warps, but it works. It still works. There's no dead spots in the plates or anything. So again, we make it kind of look easy because we've been doing it for a while. So just know it's not going to be that easy when you first start. It's like everything else. You have to practice with it, you guys. And there are a lot of things to be learned. We learn every time. Yes. Hi, Karen. Through the phone, that looks like an amazing ephemera piece. Thank you, Bernie. It kind of is, I guess. Then I have this little, I have this very intricate, this nice, delicate thinking of you. I did it in black, glossy cardstock, mirror cardstock. I love cover plates too, but they're so costly. Yes, Abraham, they are. <laughs> yeah. But I. I love them. Bring them in. I have a card where I got to show you the card. This is a card for um, when I got, when I got the, go, the uh, Gemini Junior, this was the first cover plate I pulled out of my stash because it was one that I had set aside because I could never use it because my Vagabond would not do it. It just would not do it. So this is the one that I tried immediately when I got my Gemini junior. And then I knew I was, you know, like I had struck gold. So this is the, um, intricate lace cover plate. It's a little reflective because there is gold foil behind it, but this is the intricate lace cover plate that from Tim Holtz says it. And it's just gorgeous. And I'm so excited that I can actually use it. <laughs> Okay, acetate does not scan well on the scan and cut when you throw ink all over it. So I'm going to have to um, cut this. Yeah, uh, that's true. Let's see. I tried. What's a cover plate? Um, Cheryl, a cover plate is giant card front die. Yeah. I'll show you what one looks like. So here's the here's the one I just showed you. So this is a cover plate. So this one's called Intricate Lace. And it's literally the size of an A2 card. And it is a very intricate die. So it cuts out the whole entire card front for an A2 card. Abraham, you're looking all over for what? Oh, this one? <laughs> I got it a while back when you, oh, of course, T. Um, I got it when it, and when it first came out. So maybe that's why it's, I was able to get it. So T said to use a hot knife to cut it. What do you want me to do? Cut myself? I'll just fuss I know, right? It. Like, uh, sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's you just not. want me to uh, lose a few fingers before I go to Disney? Come on, T. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Cannot afford for this trip not to happen. Okay. My sanity is based on this vacation right now. I am on the edge, people. Yeah. I don't know if they call them something else. Let me see. Um, this is a thin lit dye, but I know like um, Catherine. Thank you. 
think cover that, plate is a proprietary name for that. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's like a name on the one from Catherine Pooler. Yeah, Catherine Pooler actually calls hers cover plates. It says like this one's called a quilted cover plate die. And this is this one. It's really pretty. But that's what cover plates are. It's a full size A2. Hard front size dies. Yep. I don't think I own any. Maybe one or two. Serious? No, yeah, I might you have one with like stars or snow, but that's about it. You need to go, see, that's another, I have a whole binder full of cover plates. So I've, like I said, my second love is probably cover plates. Um, that's because they're so similar to embossing folders for you. Covers yes, the they are. Front yep. of the card. Yep, exactly. Oh, I have the perfect stamp to put behind this. I'm going to make Tracy a card right here live. This is my ode to T for all of the wonderful things she does for us. I mean, she's like the bouncer to the club. Like, she's like security. She's security 2.0. Oh, I didn't know that. She's almost hmm. six foot tall and she uses so the language better than I do. Sheesh. All right, Don't be I'm gonna jealous. put this. I'm a little still jealous. retiring in Montana with you. It's okay, boo. We'll be all right. Okay, that all right. I feel better knowing that. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's see here, Jerry. I have that one. And I love it. It's a big background die. Yeah, Abraham. That's another way of calling it. Yeah. Um, Altenew calls them cover dies as well. Okay, good to know. I don't no. know. Hold on, I have one small too. Do I have one small? You know, I love you and I fussy cut because I oh. hate to fussy cut. That is true. Yes, they call them cover dies as uh, cover plate, cover die. So cover is in the word for sure. So doodle lace cover. This is another one I love. I was waiting for it to come back into stock. It looks really pretty. Oh, shut up, T. She said she's six foot tall and almost six foot wide as well. Oh, <laughs> stop it, T. <laughs> although i did say when i started this disney trip uh, a month two months ago that i was going to lose weight so i wouldn't embarrass lee on the rides yeah that didn't happen people <laughs> it started out good <laughs> I, I didn't gain any of the weight back no that, that's what i'm saying you started out good i mean okay so let me see if i can get some embellishments all right. If on? you have sensitive ears, turn your eyes away when I make this card. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, Amy. I agree. I think cover sounds like it's the typical usage um okay we've got yellow let's try some yellow maybe i don't think gold is well gold might actually nah nah T says I'm a giant ball. Um, I always say my favorite shape is round. I'm round. Yeah, I'm thinking no one that one. Hey, Jim. Aw, Bernie's having issues with Dobby. Yeah. Yeah, Jenna, I, it's the same, I think, Jean. Um, she says, you say cover, I think of those ones that Jennifer McGuire uses, very expensive. 
Yeah, they're like $25 for one. They're not cheap. That's for sure. All right, I thought I had some other gold ones. Where is my little gold? Would pearls look nice? No, it doesn't seem to go right now. Black, that seems morbid. <laughs> I thought I had gold ones. Didn't look like I had gold ones. I have gold. What are you doing, Nancy? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it's Joey, not Dobby. I'm making a card for Tracy. She oh, sent me okay. This beautiful background, and I need to use it. <gasps> I just looked up. <laughs> I said, if you have sensitive ears, look away. Oh my God, nobody has said anything about that. Okay, Jerry just now said that stamp is awesome. <laughs> Well, this would be Nancy's favorite word, and I cannot use it online, obviously. <laughs> but that... uh, I am not offended by any snarky cards that have this word on it or get hints with them. I'm not either. I love anything like that. I'm okay with it. So, you know, you snarky people, this is what you could get. Okay, I'm not playing, I'm not paying $70 for a cover plate. No way. Heck no. Um, yes, it does, Stacy. Why, yes, it does. <laughs> she says, does that background, background stamp say F all over it? Oh, Jim says you need to blur that. <laughs> nah. You're not saying it's it. not for children. Her videos are not for children, so, you know. All right, I'm just going to say this one's done. What do you think, Nancy? I love it. It's gorgeous. Did you put gems on it? Yes, I see the gems now. Okay, I didn't yep. see them a second ago. Yep, I got a couple of gems on it. I could probably add a couple more. I don't like how this one went over here. Can we move that one? Eh. Even just a little off to the set. Oh, no, it's going to be taken off. Okay. These are so cute. I love they cut out so good. I mean, I probably maybe could have cut that out with the scan and cut, but oh, that was so easy though to do with the die. So either or give it a try. Like if it doesn't 50 work. people just unsubscribed from Nancy Stamps. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, somebody <laughs> Judy said I thought it said luck. Yes, Judy, it, it says, says luck. luck. Sure. Yes, I agree. Okay, I have Peter an even Vision number of stamps has a sentiment. Well, I have the sentiment that says, let me see if I can find it for you guys. Yeah, Jean Morin wants to know where you got that stamp from. I will tell everybody in a second. Hold on. That is super cute what you're doing though with that butterfly and stuff though. I love it. All right, what do I want? What do I want? Let's do a medium one down. I don't, I gotta have an odd number. Let's do... I don't want to do like all wonky because then that just, oh, we'll throw it in there. There we go. All right, that one's done. And if I would have, this actually has a shadow layer. And so I think I would have maybe done a shadow layer, but I'm not sure what color, maybe in gold. That might've looked nice, but I think it looks good though, just this way too. Very simple. And then I still have all these pieces to I mean, this is out of one, this is one panel. So you get this big piece and then you have all these little pieces. So I still could do another, let's see what I got. That is very pretty, Stacy. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. And it was so easy, guys. Oh my goodness. The hot foil plate worked perfect. The that stencil. was your first time you there's my girl melanie i've been singing your praises honey you <laughs> night candace my beloved scan and cut oh 
Thank you, Sandy. Thanks, Charlene. Candace has got to go. All right. All right. We're going to go soon, too. I did a shadow layer in Vellum so while the vines still show. That's a good idea. Okay. And I could have even put this over a butterfly and then pop the wings up. So you could do two layers. I didn't think of that. Okay, T, here is your That's card. Cool. I hope you like it. It's so beautiful. I love it. Look at me going mixed media with the foiling and the alcohol ink. And it doesn't even matter. Some of this didn't foil perfectly because it looks great with the, the smushed alcohol ink on there. And it's glued on right in the middle, nice and tight. And look at that beautiful background. I love that card, Nancy. That's just great. <laughs> That was just great. That Wait, what was the sentiment team. on the inside? What did it say it on the inside? Said, Go back. Hold on, I'm going to show it to you again. That is unfortunately okay. a retired stamp from Creative Vision Stamps, but it's perfect. It says, I'm pretty sure the L in your luck has just been changed to an F. <laughs> I've seen that stamp before. So <laughs> this is Creative Vision Stamp. This is retired. But this one you guys can go purchase. I don't have an affiliate link with her. Um, she had a little faux pas with Tim Holt. So we didn't ever promote her. I know Ryan bought a few stamps from her, but I backed out of the order because I didn't want to cause any issues with Tim Holtz at the time. But now I guess I could order because it doesn't matter. Anymore. True. Somebody get in her ear about contacting me for Stamp Wars. Yeah, classy and sassy. We got classy and sassy. That's right. We got classy and we got sassy. <laughs> well, sassy. She's on this side of me over here. I have been sassy lately, haven't I? Yes, you actually I'm, have I'm been, but it's okay. Vacation. Yeah, you are definitely biting at the, chomping at the bit. Crystal said um, she just got it. I saw that. <laughs> Think about if you sent this to like somebody who was totally not reading it. Oh, that's pretty. And then they read the inside and then they'd have to go back and be like, oh my God. Like I could give this to my mom and she wouldn't even read it. She'd be like, that's so pretty. Until she realized. Yeah, she would totally. never realize that's the problem. These are these jewels that um, Stacy sent us. I keep wanting to say chow, but Stacy sent us this whole box of rhinestones. You guys, the well, whole sheet of all these different colors and you can get them yes. on Amazon. There's 24 little sheets, every color and uh, chow found them. But then, uh, and she bought them for, I think me and herself. And then I bought them for Nancy and Tracy. <laughs> this is like, how we do not, things here. That's we how we do feel, things, exactly. We don't feel guilty about buying things when we buy for each other. That's right. Hey, did you get your paper? You should have got your paper I got, yesterday. I got okay, cool. yesterday. Yep. Nice. Yeah. And a long Good. day yesterday. We went you did. to Lancaster early in the morning and then... We tried to go fishing, but the lake that we went to was way overly crowded. So then we went to a cave to try to go in to see the, this crystal cave near us. But it was a three-hour wait, so we didn't get to go do that. So then I came home and took like a three-hour nap, which I needed. And then um, I did go fishing last night, and then I went to the movies with the kids. So I had a long day yesterday. Today we went there where did we go today i can't even remember i know i attempted two starbucks runs today and neither one of them had mango dragon fruit which i'm really upset about oh, um where did i go today i went um, over i was supposed to go buy dirt for my mom but she got up before me and went and got dirt i uh, went and put gas in the car oh I, um the neighbor girl came over and we went to a different cave they also had an hour and a half wait so the kids just bought rocks over there and then Starbucks and I went over and I actually have to go back out because I'm watching my neighbor's dog. So I have to go let their four dogs out. And then I got to go to bed soon because I got to take my mom to the hospital at 5 a.m. Oh, that's right. Yep. Well, we'll keep you all in our thoughts. That's for sure. Yes. Thank you. 
So nice. thank you, everybody. I'm glad to see the new faces speaking up and some old faces saying hi. I'm still here in the background watching. We miss you guys. We love you guys. And um, I will have a video going up Tuesday for Blue Night Rubber Stamps. And uh, Stacy or Tracy's got some videos coming up. So still waiting for Chow to push out that baby. Yes. And I just pulled out my embossing folders. I have an embossing folder that I just did. It's hard to see though, but you can see it. It's swirls. I forget what it's called. I thought you said squirrels. <laughs> no, but I was, was going to say, oh no, she did it. <laughs> so I can throw together. And I could definitely pop up and do some layers. It's like ephemera all over. Woohoo! Uh, Mom is having back surgery, so no, she's not okay. We suspected that she would need that, so they are getting her in because I'm going on vacation next Monday, not this week, but next week. So um, I'll at least be home with her for a week to keep an eye on her, make sure she's healing up okay, and then. Uh, next week while we're gone my sister will stop in and check up check up on her but my son will be here and he'll be kind of keeping an eye on her and also um taking care of the dog while leah and i are on vacation so this is like her third or i think it's her third back surgery so i'm a little concerned because my mom is very very petite and uh, i think last time when they did the surgery and put pins in her the pins were too big for her so i don't know what they're gonna find when they when they open her up and go in and do this surgeries again. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. So I pulled out one of the sentiments that um, Jerry did for me. It says, I used my good paper for you. <laughs> That's super cute. <laughs> no, I said swirls. It's this, um, embossing folder it's called swirls i was right <laughs> it's hey a texture guys. phase pretty cool and any other questions before we say sayonara i think she's going to disney world in florida right nancy yes i'm going to disney world in florida just leah and i and i truly want to thank everybody that contributed to the disney fund um it really did help out a lot a single mom doing this trip I'm gonna like try not to tear up talking about it because it just really is so thoughtful and so kind of so many of you to help me and my daughter out Aww. So thank you thank you so much guys well you help everybody else out you're very very gracious and giving so what goes around comes around Thank you. And, and I hope everybody got your thank you card. If you did not get a thank you card, please send me an email at foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com because Leah did make every single person a thank you card. Um, I have one actually extra one right here. So she literally went through every night and made cards and we sent them out to everyone. So if you did not get a thank you card, U.S. and international, please, please, please let me know. And I will make sure we send you another card because if you didn't get it, it means that the post office lost it because I'm telling you that little girl stayed on top of it. So I don't know if you guys ever saw something like this, but you know those fancy decorative scissors? Yeah, the ones we all got uh, rid of 10 years ago that you didn't. Yeah, the <laughs> ones that... Uh, Renee got rid of and she gave to me because she was cleaning <laughs> out and I was like "Ooh, I want those because I had all kinds of fun with them and so this is one that I just threw together and it, you, I didn't never knew they had like a corner one and this one I just used the opposite you can use it this way you can use it this way so it does two different directions depending on which direction you do it so I did the insert that looks super cool and now I'm gonna throw on my little ephemera not right this second though but I will definitely throw those on there and then I'm gonna put on my little sentiment that says I used my good paper for you <laughs> yep. oh let's see 
Yvonne said she got her card. Sherry got her card. Good. Leah's such a cutie. Yes, she is. She is a good kid. Um, she really Mary is. Whit- Mary Whitcomb says, ha ha, OMG. Those are great scamps. Um, yeah, Yvonne, I did a bunch of my gnome cards. And I used my scissors to cut my backgrounds. I was like, yeah, deco scissors. Yes, I have a whole drawer of them and I got them out and I was like, oh my God, I have a new, re- a new, I'll have to do a video. I found a new use for them because they've been literally sitting in the drawer since my scrapbooking days, which was like 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I was so excited. All right. Well, thank you everybody for hanging out with us. We had a lot of fun. I'm really glad I was able to join you. I'm sorry I missed stamp wars last time around, you know, life. Um, AC, you did two hours. I'm so proud of you. I know. I'm so excited. I was able to do it, but I definitely love this set. I mean, go check it out. Now you guys have an idea of how it works, how everything goes together. And yes, the stencils go with the stamps or the hot plate, Um, but you don't need to have the hot plate. So you if you buy have everything hot individually, you don't need yeah. anything. You could just do the stamps or just do the stencils or just do the hot foiling. You pick yeah. what works for your budget and for your style. So if you got the background stamp and the stencil set, you would be able to do this. And that is just gorgeous. And you can do different, co- you know, you can do different colors. And then if you, you know, got the die, then you can do more. Or if you have a scan and cut, you probably could cut this out. It might be a little tricky, but I know definitely for the butterflies and stuff, those are much more defined lines. So those will work perfect for the scan and cut. This one, flowers are a little bit more iffy. love my scan and cut. And I love Melanie. (laughs) (laughs) Um, There used to be a holder with like 20 of them. Yeah, I actually have the round roll. Um, I think I got it from my mother-in-law like years and years and years ago. And then I gave it to uh, to Renee and then she gave it back to me. And now it's going to get donated because it's too big. I don't, it, it holds like 10 of them or 15 is like too much room on my desk. Let's see, Teresa. You can do the stamp with gold embossing. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, you can get the gold look with some gold embossing powder, which I was actually going to do something. Faux foiling. Faux foiling. Yes. Yes. Very good. So there's a lot you can do with just, like I said, with the background stamp and stencils and you can even just do the background stamp and then just color this color it yourself. Yeah. I'm not into that, but you know, I like lazy coloring like this. This is great. Which makes me want to pull out some of my Ulta new, I actually have some Ulta new floral layering stamps and they have like the the layered stencils and stuff I'm, I don't know I don't know we'll see <laughs> all right don't forget your thumbs up on your way out and we'll talk to you guys later bye bye <laughs>